One thing I learned after having my first baby was not to jealously guard all of the jobs that, that had to be done during the day, the, the feeding and the settling and the, the nappy changing. Because I, I, kind of, I, I kind of made them my jobs and didn't let my partner help because I thought that, you know, for some strange reason he might do it wrong and, and therefore she'd wake early from her nap or, and then I wouldn't be able to sleep enough. So I had this crazy thing that, you know, I had to do everything and I kind of, Probably held him at a bit so of a distance. Precious. They're yours. They're sort of like the the bond that came out of your body. You don't want to give it to anybody, not even your yeah, husband. I think that's quite quite a natural feeling, mm. isn't it? In a way, yeah. you don't think they're going to do the job good enough. You just don't. Well, they don't. They, they don't. don't. They, they, they can't do give do them it. milk, can they? They can't. Mm. You know, breastfeed them. Obviously, they're Actually, fat. that's you're right. That's <laughs> where the sharing of the load thing. Instantly, there's a divide, isn't there? Yeah. Because you have to. So get it's up never going to be sharing. Yeah. Exactly. Unless you're bottle feeding. And then, then it gets shared, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, I think a lot more men do do, do the bottle feeding thing. Yeah. But I think for, just from day one, it's that you're in hospital with the child. Every time it, it cries, you're getting mm. up. And, and there is the pressure to breastfeed nowadays above and, and But you've beyond also all lived else. with the baby inside you growing for nine months. And you exactly. don't want to give it up immediately, do you? You don't want to hand it over to somebody no, straight away. And you do feel very kind of like... You're, well, the you it's the invisible umbilical cord, isn't it? It yeah. is still actually attached. I think it's attached to the day you die. <laughs> Actually, I <laughs> think my it mom, is. My mum, God love her, she died when she was 89 and I was still attached. I was, yeah. I, you know. Mm. I don't think that mother-baby thing ever no. ever, ever no. breaks. But, so, but you were lucky your husband did want to help. I mean, not everyone has that, do they? No, I mean, did your guys no. help <laughs> No. <laughs> my, husband, my husband, I said, well, the least you could do in the night is if he wakes and cries, see if he needs changing, because obviously you can't breastfeed him. And he went... Yes, but the thing is that you have this bond and he loves you because you breastfeed him and he sees that changing the nappy is a horrible thing, so I better not change his nappy. Oh, I'm that's like, a great excuse. Yes. 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 <laughs> so, no, but I mean, I know not all men are like that. No. <laughs> well, Chris was no good. I mean, he really wasn't. <laughs> no, say what you really think. <laughs> no, well, it's like, uh, he did uh, with this nappy thing. I mean, I was breastfeeding as well, and uh, so, of course, he couldn't do that side of it. But once or twice, I say, sort of like, just do a nappy. That would just help. It mm. just, it saves me. It gives me back perhaps an extra five or ten minutes. Yeah. But it's not just the, sort of like, the stinky side of it. It is actually in a form of bonding as yeah. well. Because mm. otherwise, they're not going to bond. That's the thing. If, if they're kept too far away, they don't, they're not there from the beginning. And I'll never forget the time he changed. I said to him, when Toby was born, the first time he changed a nappy was when Toby was about four months old. And I said, do you know, Chris? I said, I could have told you it was a girl. <laughs> and you would never have known until you saw the nappy off. <laughs> I could have done that. Honestly, that's how bad it was. And then he did the nappy. He had cream all over him. <laughs> and then he puts the stickers down on the back right. because he thought that was the way to do it and then they wouldn't stick because they've got cream all over them. <laughs> I he think, was useless. I think it is quite important though to make the partner get a bit involved because otherwise they'll Absolutely. go off and lead their own life. Yes. And I know I know women who have done everything until their children were 18 and then discovered that their husbands have been having affairs with somebody else for the mm. last 10 years because they weren't involved in the family. Yeah. And things, you know, didn't work out with my husband but initially um, you know, there was this him not doing anything. But when the baby was four months old and I went back to work, he stayed at home one day a week and looked after the baby. Oh, and our fantastic. relationship went through a kind of nirvana period when he understood where I was coming from yeah, about the baby yeah. and he bonded with the baby. And I think it's actually, you know, much as we want to keep the babies to ourselves a bit because of that motherly bond, it's important to let yeah. your husband or partner do stuff with the baby. But isn't it funny well. you're saying going back to work after four months and you're, you're happy, you don't think about it almost, going back to work, and yet you think you're more concerned about leaving your child with your husband, but you're not concerned about leaving them to go to work. Mm. Well, it's weird. Yeah, I guess, but I, I was lucky because my mother looked after the baby for the other two days, so I went back to work part-time. And, you know, there, there is a wrench, isn't there, in mm. going back to work, but it was a decision I made. I had a job I loved, and, and frankly, we needed the money, so... Mm. I, actually, I, f I found it a good experience going back to work three days a week. I think full time at that stage would have been awful, but um, I, di I did enjoy it. Mm. And I think it was nice that my husband at that stage got involved with the baby, and he got very close to him. And but at that's that point, the thing, he is been that interested. bonding? Because they do, they do get kind of like pushed out of the equation, yeah, they don't do. they, for a long time? And if they miss that opportunity, it takes that much longer. Fathers seem to be much closer to their kids today than they did oh, they used to be. in My yesteryear. Dad, very distant. Had nothing really? to do with us. Really. Never. Really. Well, it wasn't the role. They no, were the, they were the, the providers. Yeah, yes, exactly. exactly. They looked after the family. They sort of took care of the home, sort of thing. But for me, because I had twins, 
so Steve had to help. Yeah. He had to help because I couldn't... Well, I could have coped. I mean, you do cope, don't you? But because he was there, because he's a musician, so he doesn't work that often. <laughs> 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 so he, he was there. And so when there were two nappies to change, I did one and he did the other, which was great. I must tell you one quick story yeah. about their godmother, Sue. She's lovely. And she wanted to be a real active... Uh, godmother, you know, not she just didn't want to be a godparent on paper. She wanted to really yeah. be active, a part of their lives. And she's got these really long nails that she cherishes, and they're her own. They're not, you know, stick-ons or anything. And um, I remember her changing the nappy. I, Re, I can do the nappy. Oh, right, Re, my real name's Rita. Re, I'll do the nappy. Uh, and I said, but Sue, your nails. Went, That's all right. I've had a child of my own. <laughs> and she did this nappy, and it was a pooey one. And she went, oh. Marvellous, and she got the Suda cream, and she put it on, and that, and that was that. And then she cleaned her hands, but unbeknown to her, underneath the It was nail, all the cream. Poo. Oh, poo! poo. Oh, poo no. topped with cream. Oh. And so she cleaned her hands, and like that, a and that was that. Like a cappuccino. Well, that was it. Nails. That was it. So it was, uh, she had some chocolate later on, and, she'd, and, she'd, uh, she, and she oh. thought it had melted under her nails, and she got it out. She didn't put it in her uh, How horrible. She didn't move the chocolate biscuits, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that was lovely. That was really sort of getting Very in yes, and helping out. Yes, exactly. But I had a nanny. I had a day nanny when I started work, when I went back to work, because I thought Steve still wants to be a bloke and he wants to go out and play golf and that, and he doesn't want to be tied down to the children. Even though he did help, I knew he didn't want to take the full responsibility. And the terrible thing for me was that when the, when the babies were toddlers and they could climb out of their cots one night Kyla climbed out of her cot and she called for the nanny oh, oh, of and it broke my heart yeah. and so she must have been about 18 months oh that's uh, the awful and that thing, broke my yeah. heart and I thought that's it losing oh, touch yeah. can't, yeah. yeah. can't have this you know but doesn't it say an awful lot I I'm digressing very slightly that sort of children at that stage it's like when they are going to be adopted or they're taken away from natural at that moment of time, it's not that important to them. It's much more important yeah. to the mother. It's who yeah. is looking after them, yeah. taking care of them. That's the, the focus. Yeah, so, so it's not the nature, it's the nurture. But for yeah, the, the person right, that gave yeah. birth, that's the terrible thing. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, it wounded me. It really yeah, was, I, I was imagine. distraught. Well, my boys still call me Cheryl sometimes, which is like the girl who looks after them now while I'm at work. They go, Cheryl, oh, whoops, sorry, mummy. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but that's kind of like a habit, because yeah. I call my children sometimes a dog's name, you know, because they like, get kind of confused, don't <laughs> you? It's not, not, not to be taken personally, you know. <laughs> uh, it's the tail, you see. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but, but to come back to men joining in, I think, um, I mean, there's one area that um, is quite newly talked about but it happened to one of my husbands he, he actually got postnatal depression mm. and I don't know if that's because his wife asked him to help too much or whether um, I don't know don't know what caused it but you know men can actually get involved in, in that kind of way as mm. well oh, yeah, see, my husband is the, the full-time carer and I work full-time and there are some days when I see he's he's like me like what I was like when you know on maternity leave he's, he's added up to here and there's no yeah. patience left and there's has to you know just leave and 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 get it out of his system somehow and then come back and and again now my kids I see them struggling to see who they prefer most you know one falls over I, you see them Shall I call mummy or daddy? Because oh, now oh, we're equal. Oh, it's quite an emotional thing. Yeah. So I suppose everybody in one sense gets quite depressed. The mother gets depressed yeah. if she's... Replaced. If she's, yes, replaced. Yeah. The yeah. father as well because he's second place. Yeah. That's quite... Who wins? Who can win? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. 